Hey, this is Yas Stone here. Welcome to episode two of the M2SF three minute podcast. Yesterday we had our inaugural podcast. I think it went really well. Got some great response from you guys. And today I hope to hit another home run. I hope your day is going great. Mine has been. I hope you're making sales. And if you haven't been making sales, well, maybe this might help. There's a blog I like to take a look at called Duct Tape Marketing. And uh, there was a really cool, informative piece. You know, I I like these kind of pieces that, uh, you know, you, you know about these things, you've thought about it, but what they do is they crystallize it for you. They, they turn it into kind of steps and it's actionable and, and it really sort of crystallizes um, kind of what you feel in your gut. And this is one of those. It is called How Writing for the Stages of Awareness Will Convert More Readers into Paying Customers. Now, I always like to look at, um, you know, sales and marketing you know, using the analogy of, like, say, courtship. You know, like, uh, okay, I'm a guy, you know, checking out a girl. Uh, you don't immediately go up and say, you know, whatever your ultimate goal is, uh, you know, let's go to bed or uh, let's get married or or whatever. Maybe you don't even go and talk to her first. You kind of get her attention, see if she kind of looks at you. Uh, You give her some looks and then, then you go over or you figure out some way to just start talking. And from there, you feel it out and you progress. Uh, so the whole point is that the sales process is similar. You don't just go in hot and heavy and make some big proposal because you'll get a no. So the stages of awareness is an interesting concept in this duct tape marketing article where the writer breaks the stages of awareness into five steps. Right? And she uses the example of running shoes. For So she says, you know, let's say you sell running shoes. Of course, you know, it's going to be easier to sell running shoes to someone who's an avid runner, who knows the value of a good shoe. If it's barefoot runner, um, it'll be harder to sell them a shoe. But you can sell to both of them. You just have to approach them differently because there are different stages of awareness. Now, because this is the three-minute podcast, I can't actually go and tell you the five stages in detail right now. I'm going to do that tomorrow for sure. But the point is you always have to remember that you can't just go and start selling hard to someone. Do not think that they are at the buying stage. Most likely they're not. Conversely, if you have someone who is at the buying stage, don't speak to them in the wrong way either. So I want you to include this in your marketing campaigns, in your copywriting, in your emails. I want you to take this lesson to task, uh, even when you do your ads. So that's the takeaway for today. And tomorrow we're going to tell you what the exact five steps are, so we can be even more precise in our messaging. So I hope you found this of value. I hope you liked my little dating analogy. I always think that's great and very helpful. So with that, have a great day and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.